Tomato juice, real good. Hey, it's Anfa, and you're watching Anfa Vlog. Today we'll finish the drum kit we started last time. And after this long break, I want to say hello. Lots of stuff happened around. I got a new camera, I got a new background. I passed my exams and got my driving license. But anyway, who cares? Let's get on with the show. All right, so here's the ardor session I left you with last time. As you remember, we have four individual drum tracks. Well, the problem is mm, recording and editing drum patterns on four separate tracks is going to be very hard. So we need one MIDI track to drive all of these. So I'm going to add a new MIDI track, call it drums, like this. And I want to insert it first in the stack. And by default, Ardor 5.6 inserts a blah, blah, blah. General MIDI synthesizer, somewhere like, yeah, with this one, general MIDI synth. But we don't want that, so I'm choosing none. And here's our track. Now, I want my MIDI keyboard to feed data into this track. You can see we have input, but we also need output. So here's the output routing grid. Let's go to Ardor Tracks and just click and drag to create four connections. Now if I enable record for these, for some reason only the kicks drum is working. And we'll get in get to that. Okay. So well we have MIDI input, so it should be fine. The problem is, like, our drums, our drum tracks are, like, they, they will want to behave as tracks, and tracks have their own data on the playlist, and they play it out. But we need these tracks to always monitor the input, to always play what's fed to them from this track, no matter what. So we want them to act like buses. And this little thing will do it for us if we select this, it will force the track to always monitor the input. If we disable this, it's going to change. When I play, uh, and when I record, when I arm it for recording, it's starting to monitor the input, but if I disable the recording, it's going to play from the disc. And we always want it to monitor the input. So, I don't want to change this for every track individually, so I'm going to create a track group. I'm going to click and drag in this black bar, release and call this drums and here's our drum track bus group no here's this is a track group now if i arms one for recording all of them get armed and if i also change this to monitor input always all of them are going to do that there's also some audio but we don't have audio output so we actually get have sound but we don't have uh, it rooted out. So let's create a audio bus. Not tracks, audio buses. Yeah, let's call it drums bus. And I want it to be stereo. Let's insert it last in the track stack here. Now, I don't want my kick to feed master channel with audio. And normally we had all of these play to master. So when you have to disconnect several tracks, it's easier to go to the source, I mean to the destination, like go to master input routing grid, and go to other tracks, because here you can click and drag and disconnect all of these tracks at once. Now for some reason I have just one track connected because I was messing around with the session trying to record this video for a long time. So I'm gonna go for drums bus just to Root my input, Ardor tracks, and now click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Okay, now all the audio from the drums should come for this bass. The kick is very loud for some reason, quite distorted. I'm gonna open it up and see what happens. Yeah, this. It, Okay.
it works. Now, to utilize our drum bus submix thingy, let's add a compressor. I'm gonna right click, new plugin. I have Calf Compressor in my favorites. And note that it's inserted pre fader. So this thing is in effect after the compression. If it were post fader, the amount of compression would depend on the position of the fader, because if we feed quieter sound, it's not going to hit the threshold so much. So I personally always make sure that my compressors and distortion and this kind of stuff is pre-fader. Actually, I always put stuff pre-fader, only in special cases I go for post-fader. So let's hear. I'm going to record a short drum sequence so we can play it back in loop and work with our compressor over that. So I'm going to hit shift space. It's going to start recording because I have my drum struck armed. And I'm going to play something. I'm not a good controllerist. I'm much better at clicking with mouse. So I, what I did, oh, I forgot to do, to say what I do. <laughs> I pressed R to go to the region select mode or range mode, rather, and I select a region and I want to press right square bracket and that, set up, that sets up looping markers. So now if I hit L key, it's going to play in loop. Yay! Ah, this loop ends too in a bad place. <clears throat> it's a terrible, terrible thing. Let's just hit this real hard to hear what it's doing. And that's proof that all the sound is coming for the bus. It's all almost quiet. You know, compression can work so hard that it's actually doing distortion. Especially if you change the detection algorithm from RMS to peak, which is going to make it much quicker in reaction and distort it even harder. But well, let's add some attack. You can hear that the increased attack lets through more of the transients, the initial hits. Making our release a little bit longer will counteract the distortion. It's going to make it more compression than distortion. So now it's much cleaner. Note that currently, Calf Compressor, all of them, them have 6 decibels of gain after the compression by default. That's going to change in the newest plugins. Uh, in the Git version, it's probably already done. It's going to be zero, so you can dial it up by yourself. But in the stable release, it's still plus 6 dB by default. Okay, let's hear the difference. Well, that's snappier. Okay, I leave you with this. If you want to see more short videos, um, or if you have any suggestions or questions about this stuff, ideas what I should do next in the videos, leave them in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! By the way, the guitar you saw, it's not mine.